what's up everybody welcome back to Voyager RC I wanted to do a video for you racers out there that are looking to set up a eye charger for the 40 amp discharge um, this will work on the 406 duo or the 4010 duo um, basically the first thing you need is a resistor bank um, this is one of the ones I make personally um, I'll leave a description in the or I'll leave a link in the description down below rather um, where you can find these um, cool thing about mine is I wire the fans to go directly to the power supply that way you're getting full voltage to them and they can run when the discharge bank is actually not being used that way you can cool them down better um, as you can see here I got the station set up I got my Protec pack in port 1 discharge bank in port 2 um, you can do this flipped so you can run your discharge bank off port 1 and your battery off port 2 doesn't matter um, just as long as they're plugged into different ports um, got the power supply hooked up to the charger so everything's powered on so I'm gonna adjust the camera so we can get a better view of the screen and I'll talk you through the steps of setting up a profile um, to get it so you can do the 40 amp discharge utilizing the other port with the resistor bank Alright guys, before we get started, I just wanted to give you kind of a rundown of the buttons on the charger. Um, this is your start-stop button, um, your status button, your tab button, and then you also have your status and start-stop for channel 2. Um, and then this button is actually a wheel as well as a button. So I just want to show you guys that. I'm going to get the camera adjusted on the screen so you can see what I'm doing really well. Um, but those are the button layout, um, so when I'm saying, you know, use the start stop button or the tab button, you know what buttons I'm referring to. Alright guys, I went ahead and got the camera zoomed in on the screen here, hope you can see it okay. You can see I got a channel 1 I've got the battery connected to, it's fully charged. So what we're going to do is go into the profile settings, we're going to set up a new one. Um, so to do that you want to hit the start stop button on the channel you have your battery in, in this case channel 1. Then I'm going to hit the tab button, use the wheel to scroll down to manage. Use the center click for that. We're going to scroll down and select add. Then you can see we can use the wheel to kind of scroll through here. See what we want to do. Right now I've got the title highlighted. You can click on that and change the title if you want to. Um, just going to leave that the same. You want to make sure your type is LiPo. Your cells you can leave at Auto or 2S because it will automatically detect as long as you have your balance port plugged in. Um, I like to change it to 2S just because I know I'm charging a 2-cell. Capacity. This battery is a 4250. And then we're going to scroll over to program, highlight that, um, hit the center click. That will allow us to cycle through and choose what we want. We want to go through discharge. So here you can see the discharge current is set to 2 amps. We want to click that. Use the wheel to scroll it all the way up to the max out of 40. Um, and it's also showing you it's a 9.4 C rating on it. Uh, hit the center button to select that. Discharge voltage, we want to have it cut off at 3.5 volts per cell. Uh, regenerative mode is off, so what you want to do, this is the most important thing, this is what's going to set you up for your resistor bank. Um, you want to click that, scroll to the right twice, so it says to channel. Center click, use the wheel to scroll over to set, center click that as well. Um, you can see channel join um, is set to resistance or bulbs which is what you want um, there's also charging battery option but we want it on resistance or bulbs the voltage limit we want to just go ahead and crank up max it out at 25 volts and then the current limit we want to max out to 40 amps then we can hit back Um, there's also an advanced settings, um, extra discharge enable, balance enable, 
Um, I like to highlight balance enable, that way it's balancing as you go. Hit back, then we can go and select back again. And that's got your discharge set up so that as of now it'll discharge at 40 amps. The other thing I like to do when I do this is um, set up the cycle. So you can see it comes standard as charge to discharge. I like to set that to discharge charge. That way when we're, you know, the whole point of this is to build up heat and lower the resistance in the pack. So we want to discharge it first and then immediately charge it again at 40 amps. Um, and then go out on the track and run it. That's what's going to give you the max punch out of the battery. Um, cycle count, turn down to one, and then the delay time down to zero minutes. That way it'll automatically go from discharge to charge without sitting there and letting the pack cool. Um, then you can hit back again. Um, just make sure we had our charge set up, which we want again at 40 amps. Um, normal balance, 4.2 per cell. And then everything in advanced um, is fine. And we can go to back. And that's really um, the main things you need to do to set this up. So I'm going to hit save. That saved the profile. Um, you can see it's highlighted here you've got the the LiPo 2S 4.2 at 40 amps um, and then these are just all the other other settings that I have um, so all you need to do to select that um, is I'll just go to the main screen here just hit your start stop button on your battery channel that one's highlighted center click it and then I like to scroll down to cycle which will discharge it and then charge it um, center click it are you sure you want to run and then you can select yes before I do that I am going to plug in my fans for my resistor bank that way we're running at max cooling and then hit yes and you can see here it's going to start to ramp up and do its thing um, you got your regenerative channel which is on channel 2 you can see what it's doing to the bank there that'll slowly come up and your amperage will come up to a negative 40 on the battery side And there you have it, we're discharging at 40 amps. So I hope this video uh, answered any questions you guys might have. Hope it was helpful. You can see here the whole setup working. Um, fan going at max power because it's running direct off the power supply. And the other nice thing is that when it's done discharging, the fan will still be running so it'll cool the resistor bank down and let it instead of letting it just sit at ambient temp when it's hot from doing the discharge cycle so hope this video was helpful give it a thumbs up if you liked it um, you got any questions leave them down in the comments below um, yeah subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for more videos thanks for watching